Athletes, welcome back to another great day of fitness. We've got your workout coming today that is gonna have upper body pulling and pushing. And we got some line hops or double unders, depending on where your skill level is. We got things all in between you can do to make this workout customized to you. We got Kevin, we got John from Stoke-on-Trent, England, our special guest drop-in for the day. And we are ready to work out with you. The warm-up's coming up next. Your warm up is starting in 10 seconds, so go ahead and get some space because we're gonna be doing 10 bent over reach and rows. We're starting in three, two, one. Get those feet stanced out to where you squat at. You are gonna push those hips back, and we are reaching to that end range, crossing our arms and then pulling back, trying to squeeze those scaps together. You think about trying to hold a pencil in between your shoulder blades when we come back with that row. After we get done with 10 reps here, we are going to go into five hand release push-ups for Kevin, and we're gonna go five floor press for John. Now with this, we're gonna make these tempo during the warm-up. So you guys are gonna take your weights or take your floor, and I want you to go down for a tempo rep. So Kevin's gonna slow it down, just like that. John does it automatically. We're making sure we're getting through the range of motion and everything feels comfortable. John's got a little bit of a shoulder issue going on, so we're gonna lower the weight for him today just so that he can work within a comfortable working range and not push it too hard, but we can still get a workout out of it regardless of the loading that we're using. After that, we're gonna go into 10 heel toe rocks. So John's gonna hop up and we are going onto our toes, back to our heels. We're getting those calves and those ankles warmed up for our double unders or for our line hops that we have. After athletes get through 10 reps here, and every time you go on your toes, that's gonna be a rep. We're gonna go into single hops. So this is gonna be the same thing you do with single unders, but we have no rope. So you're just gonna bunny hop in place. So we're gonna start hopping. Make sure you feel nice and springy. Let that heel kiss the floor. We're gonna go more than 10 reps, because I'm just gonna talk for a little bit. I'm just getting you guys more warmed up, the more that I run my mouth. So this is it. I'm gonna challenge Sean to go a little bit lower. So give me the same amount of jump and less range of motion. And then with Kevin, I'm just gonna let Kevin do his thing because you already know that those dance moves, give me a little dance move and a single hop, Kevin. Whatever you got, it's you. I know you got something. There we go. I love it. It's the running man. Let's head backwards a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and relax here. So we're gonna go back through this again. We're gonna go into our 10 bent over reach and rows. So push those hips back, load your hamstrings, and you are gonna reach for that range of motion, getting those shoulder blades. I need as much retraction and much as much protraction as you can possibly get there. So hit your end range on either side. When we get 10 reps in, we are gonna go back into our hand release push-ups or that floor press. Now, if you guys are doing the floor press and this is something that's new to you, you do need to realize that elbows are gonna make contact with the floor before that weight implement makes contact with your body. So you can use dumbbells like John's using, and if you don't have dumbbells, you could use a water jug and hold it on either side. You could use a plate, so if you wanna grab a 25 pound plate, we can do a floor plate press there. Whatever you guys are gonna to use today, just make sure that it's something you can get a sturdy grip on, because obviously we do not wanna drop that on ourselves. After we are done with this press, we are gonna stand up, we're going back into our heel toe rocks again. So with that, we're gonna go up onto our toes, back onto our heels, and then we are making sure that we are getting full range of motion and getting our lower body warmed up because your score today is gonna be those line hops that you get or those double unders that you get. So you need to make sure that that engine is primed and ready to go. After we get done here, I'm gonna have John pick up his rope and he's gonna start working through single unders and double unders. He can use this time to really make sure that he feels comfortable with the movement. The things that you'll notice is, is that John does a good job of keeping the motion through those wrists. We're not moving those forearms up and down. We wanna make sure they stay close to our body and slightly in front. So when you guys are looking forward, you should see those hands in your peripheral vision. For Kevin, I'm gonna have Kevin slow it down and we're gonna go into step overs. So we're gonna go into step overs. We got those hips in it already. And we're making sure we're staying active in this position. So if I was to come up to Kevin and push him over, he's not moving. He's still going to his line hop. Get a little bit more active for me, Kevin. Get lower. That's too much active. There we go. We can keep that up. So copy me, Kevin. We're here like this. And now we're gonna step over that line. So stay in that. He's still getting the hips into it. After we get done with those, what we can do is, is that we can do line hops with no rebound. So he's gonna go to one side of his line. He's gonna hop. He's gonna hop. He's gonna hop. And then he goes right into his regular line hops. So this is the most advanced version with our rebounds that we have there. 
I got Kevin the Energizer Bunny today, so we're just gonna get right into this more, or this workout. John is gonna pick between single unders and double unders, whichever you guys wanna do there. If you switch over to single unders today, you're gonna count two single unders for one double. That's how you're gonna score it. So get yourselves ready. We're gonna try to contain Kevin's hips long enough so that we can start this workout, but turn your cell phone on silent, take care of the kids, take care of the cats, comb out your beard, whatever you need to do, because we got the workout coming up next. Athletes, your workout is starting now. We've got 10 seconds on the clock. We are going to be making our way to where we're doing our towel rows or our dumbbell bent over rows. We are starting in three, two, one, and go. Now athletes have two minutes of work today for four sets with one minute of rest afterwards. We got Kevin doing the towel rows, which he just told me he practices every single day. I don't know if that's in the shower or after. I don't know where he's practicing, but this form is looking good. So we know he has been practicing it. We got John with his bent over rows here doing a fantastic job of loading up his hamstrings and his posterior chain. He's flown past Kevin. Kevin's still on this towel while John is already on the floor for his floor dumbbell press. With this, we are making sure that we are getting full extension at the top and then making contact with our elbows in the floor. We got Kevin turning up the heat a little bit because he didn't realize the competition that John was bringing from Stoke-on-Trent, England. If you've never been there, it is the oat cake capital of the world and it's also the pottery capital of England, maybe the world. You say you're going to Stoke-on-Trent, you're saying you're going to potteries, it's the same thing. It'll make you sound like you're a local and they're friendly to everybody. So whether you're local or not, Stoke-on-Trent, you need to visit them. We've got both of our athletes moving into our line hops and on our double unders here. Now athletes are counting their reps that they're gonna be doing on this because this is their score. Now I hate to break it to them, but whatever they're giving me in this first set is what I gotta see in sets two, three, and four. So if we need to take a short break, to shake out our calves, shake out our arms, get a little bit of dance moves in, shake out the beard, whatever we need, we can do it, but we gotta keep working for another 28 seconds here. So do not wear yourself out in set number one, because you only get one minute of rest. And I am thoroughly impressed that the athletes are going this hard. I hope you guys are going this hard, only if you can maintain all the way through. Kevin is now abandoned, jumping over his line. So stay over the line, because these are all no reps, Kevin. We are got five seconds and three, two, one, and rest. So the only person that's not laughing here is John because he came to play. He's got it in his mind, locked in, a true competitor. We got Kevin, I don't know, it's got the fame has gone to his head now. So we're gonna regroup, we're gonna make set number two. No, no reps there. I think at one time Kevin was only hopping on the line. So, which was almost more impressive than hopping over the line. But we got 35 seconds left, so take this time. Shake those arms out, shake your calves out. I need you guys to continue moving during these rest times. The last thing you wanna do is sit down, not move. We gotta stretch out. We got Kevin opening up his chest. I think he thought that he was here just for fun and he realized that John is here just for work. So we're gonna have a showdown in these next couple sets we got. We got 13 seconds on the clock and we are going into set number two. You guys are making your way back to where you were doing your rows. So we got 15 reps there. We're going in five and three, two, one, go. So we have 15 reps on our towel rows or 15 reps on our dumbbell bent over rows. And again, if you feel these dumbbell rows in your lower back, it's because you were only bending over. We need to shift that body weight back slightly so that we can load in our hamstrings. I should not feel any of this in my low back. In this position, you're gonna have that row thinking about pulling those dumbbells to your waist level or a little bit higher than that but not up to your chest. You get that sassy kitten or those T-Rex arms going on, that is a no-go. I will count those as a no-rep. After that, we got both athletes moving into our floor press and our hand-release push-ups. On the hand-release push-ups, there's no standard of how high you gotta pull your hands off the floor. We just need to get the hands off the ground in some capacity, fingertips to palms, no contact, and then you go right back into your next rep. If you guys need to make these a little bit easier, we can do regular push-ups with no hand-release on an elevated surface. Don't try to do the hand-release while you're on an elevated surface because it does not work out well. After this, we got Kevin looking at the clock. Kevin, don't look at the clock, you go. You just gotta go, you gotta get all these reps in. We got John right behind Kevin on our double unders. We got Kevin almost missing the line, he's making it close. And there we go, 
And Kevin is just here, as always, for a good time. Get over that line, Kevin. There we go, that's better. If you guys need to slow these down a little bit to keep yourself moving, you can do step overs. So Kevin, switch over to step overs for me. So, <laughs> there we go. And it's with style, as always. I gotta let Kevin do his thing because he's still getting the fitness in, but most importantly, having a good time, like we always want you to do. So Kevin, back into those line hops. We got 15 seconds left. So give me all you got here. And remember, we're keeping track of these reps because you have set number two. Kevin is stepped on the gas. Once again, trying to throw me off my game, but it's not gonna happen. We got three, two, one, and that is it. We got a minute of rest, and then we're going into our third set. John, how are we feeling? Good, wow, we're feeling good. Yeah, we're just getting warmed up, you said. Kevin, how are we feeling? All right, you got, you got any tips for set number three for everybody? Dominate. All right, dominate, I love it. John, what is your advice for set number three? Okay, that's, a, oh, uh, he's, he's coming for you. So I love this. This is a little bit of uh, USA versus England at this point. So we're going to see, pick your team, whoever you are on, Team USA or Team England, put it in the comments below. And let's see if we can get a little friendly competition here. We got 20 seconds going. And then also, if you have a Stoke on Trent fact that you would like to put in the comments, try and impress us. We know Slash is from there. We know that Lemmy Kilminster from Motorhead is from there. So anything else you got, throw it in the comments below. We got five seconds. And three, two, one, go. We got 15 reps here again. John is doing a fantastic job of breathing out every time that he rows. So think about getting a breath in when those arms are extended and breathe out when you apply the effort on the movement. The same thing with our towel rows here. We got both athletes finishing up and then they are going into their hand release push-ups and their dumbbell floor press. And as we heard, Kevin said dominate, John said I'm coming. They are going head to head here and this isn't even the final set. So I love what we got going on here. You guys pick your pace on this workout. If you're trying to keep up with our athletes here, I challenge you to do so, but you're gonna have to get moving because Kevin is throwing the style on while accumulating these reps. We got both athletes finishing up their press and then we are moving into our line hops and our double unders. We got Kevin straight into line hops and we're gonna see, Kevin, if you complain about your knees hurting tomorrow, this is all you, so you need to think about that. We want you guys to have fun, but we want you to be responsible with your fitness. So if you are trying to beat Kevin on line hops, we challenge you to do that, but you need to be a little bit more in control than Kevin is at the moment, because I just counted, that's eight line hops that are no reps, because he ended up on the line every single time. Now we're back over to step overs, and then we're back to line hops with Kevin. We got John over here, calm, cool, and collected. He knows what he's here to do, moving into those double unders. We got 30 seconds left, athletes. So keep yourself controlled, keep this pacing all the way through for the moment, and it's not gonna last long. We do have Kevin under control, making his way over that line. I know something's gonna happen, and I don't know what it is. We got 15 seconds, and there it is. And Kevin has sped it up. Somehow he's not moving his upper body and only his lower body. We got five seconds and three, two, one, rest. We have one more set after this. So I need you guys to evaluate what you've done up to this point. Kevin, how many reps did you get in that last round? You weren't counting, were you? No, you weren't. All right, so if you don't know what rep you're on, unfortunately you're at zero. So we're gonna see if we can make those reps up in this final set. John, on average, how many double unders are you getting? Okay, perfect, we got 70 to 80, which is extremely impressive. Okay, so so he quit at 100. What do you count, by 50s? Okay, so, okay, so one no rep. Obviously, he didn't count the 27 no reps that we got in this last round, but hey, it's not about the what well, is about the form, but it's also about the heart, and Kevin has a lot of heart. So we're gonna bring that into our final set we got in 10 seconds. And then Kevin has got the thigh slaps going because we are starting in three, two, one. Let's get it. You guys are going into our towel rows and our bent over rows. Both athletes are going faster somehow on this. Uh, Kevin is gonna leave a face imprint on that rig upright because he is pulling so fast. We got John like an engine over here. 
using those pistons to get through our dumbbell bent over row. And he is already onto his dumbbell floor press. Kevin is still rowing, but Kevin is right on his tail. Wherever you guys are at home, please make sure that you're getting your full range of motion in. And we want you to have fun, but we want you to be safe while you're doing this. So I would tell you that Kevin is someone you can compete with, but do not copy exactly what he's doing. He's a trained professional. He goes home, he practices towel rows like he already told us, and he also practices these line hops, which I don't know what we're gonna see this round, but it's gonna be spectacular, and there it is. Kevin is definitely gonna be saying his knees are hurting tomorrow. I want this on film so I can show it to him. We got John back into his double unders, staying relaxed, staying nice and controlled. We got Kevin on his line hops, now hopping off of his line. We have to come back. We have a special guest star in the studio. Trice, you wanna come get some line hops in? You don't? Okay, next workout. All right, Trice is leaving us. He had his reindeer pajamas on, so he was, he was ready to perform. We got 40 seconds left. We got John staying relaxed with those hands and doing a fantastic job with the positioning that he's got that rope in. Remember, as we get tired, those hands drift back, so keep our hands slightly in front. Kevin has unusually stayed somewhat in line with the standards that he's got. He's got 20 seconds left, and we'll see if we'll be able to maintain this, and he is still going. I think we've finally worn Kevin out because he's doing exactly what he's supposed to. You got 10 seconds left. Keep moving for me, athletes. And we have five seconds and three, two, one, rest. And that is it. Arms up in the air because we have completed another successful workout today. You guys should be done with us because we were doing those two minute round times. Kevin, great job. If you can give one word of congratulations to everyone at home, your inspirational kitten hanging on a, a wire, hanging there poster, what is it? Just be yourself. Just be yourself. That is the best thing that you'll hear today. John, do you have any parting words for everyone at home? Just keep moving. Just keep moving. I love it. All the positivity here. We hope you guys feel encouraged. We hope that you had a great time. We hope that you were entertained. So thank you for joining us again for another great day of fitness. We got your cool down coming up next, so make sure you stick around. Athletes, once again, I can't say it enough, and I always say it because you guys bring the fitness, but great job on today's workout. We loved having you with us. We had a great time. We hope that you had a great time. Now, if you enjoyed this and you're not a part of the Mayhem Athlete community and you've been here for a couple workouts already, I gotta tell you, we got a seven day free trial that you can start today and you can get tons of access to multiple tracks, whether it's bodybuilding, CrossFit, functional fitness workouts at home, workouts on the road, workouts anywhere that you can be and move your body. If you're at that family gathering and you gotta have some time to kind of get to yourself, blow off some steam, you could do a Mayhem Athlete workout in the backyard. Join us today and get your way on your way to the best version of yourself, whether you want to be a little bit fitter each day and tackle life head on, or you want to make it all the way to the competition floor. Mayhem Athletes got your back. So join us today. You won't regret it. The cool down is listed over John's beautiful face. I hate putting it here. We got Kevin over here. I don't know what he's doing, but he's probably doing something that is not just standing there. But stick around for this cool down because your body just took care of you. So you got to take care of your body. And as always, be good, be kind, and join us again for another great day of fitness.